Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So with Shark Week starting tonight, I thought I would be suited to share with you my top five favorite shark movies. <laughs> I know that I said I was going to be doing ranking videos this month. Again, it is Shark Week, so of course, we got to talk sharks. Actually, you guys, this is the second time I'm recording this because my damn SD card needed to format again, and I lost this one, and I lost my very first hit rewind. <laughs> it was a harsh day yesterday. I filmed four videos, two of them got erased. I don't like always, you guys. This list is just my own personal preference. My list is not the right list, but it's not the wrong list. And don't worry, you guys. As much as I honestly thought about putting it on my list, there will be no Sharknado. Before I guess continue on any further, just remember that shark movies, they're not necessarily like the best thing. I mean, obviously there's like one particular movie that we'll get to later. So everything else, it's pretty much just fun. Like you really have to kind of like shut your brain off. Don't get too much into the science of things. And in fifth place will be 2018's The Meg. The star uh, Jason Statham. He's apparently the best deep sea diver rescuer that is a mouthful you guys and when some little scientists you know go like searching around down in the deep dark layer of where they should have been doing and get stuck down there they call of course jason Steele to come and save the day they kind of open up this like little protective layer that was keeping the meg from surfacing up into our world so this movie i remember when the trailer was coming out they had a really cute uh hashtag uh save pippin it's a cute little doggy the dog survives the meg does not kill the dog pippin Thank the Lord Jesus. Like, other humans, now they're dead. But Pip and the dog survived. And you know that's all that really matters because it's dark. So let's go ahead and move on to number four. And that would be 2016, The Shallows. And you know what? I totally forgot I was going to wear my Josh shirt. Give me one moment. So The Shallows stars Blake Lively playing Nancy. Um, she is a pre-med student who, after her mom dies from cancer, kind of like in a way loses herself and kind of quits med school so she goes off on this journey to try to find this like secret secluded beach because this is the beach that her mom used to go to it's a beautiful beach um it did take her minute to kind of track down doesn't even know the name of the beach and just like any shark movie well from here forward because the meg really wasn't after them per se from this movie to number one the other the sharks had their eyes on Nancy is surfing you just kind of see this like shark coming out through the wave and you know, nicks her board and you know of course makes her like tumble and like hurt herself with the, the reef. Nancy is now stuck 200 yards from the beach it's like she can see it it's like there can she go for it but no she's hurt and then there's a damn seagull. Will the seagull survive? I don't know. She also gives it aid. Does she name the seagull? I don't know. I'm gonna name him Fred. Fred seems right. It's Fred and Nancy against this big ass white shark who literally, like I said, has his eye on Blake. And it's all like, mmm, tasty piece of meat right there. I have not had a human in a while. Mind you, there's this big ass whale that's over here just like dead that I could be eating off of. But no, this movie was really kind of like intense, especially when the two surfers kind of come back. And she's trying to warn them not to come in the water because there's a shark. Of course, they're not really believing that there's a shark. Moving on to number three, which would be 1999's Deep Blue Sea. This one is actually pretty crazy uh, because they are pretty much like in an underground like facility. Like, like scientist, lady, whatever. She's like experimenting on these three sharks to try to find a cure for Alzheimer's and she's like altering their like states and stuff. What the bitch does is she makes these damn sharks super fast and super intelligent. So these three sharks pretty much end up flooding the facility that they're in, you know, so it can crumble down because they want freedom. Think about it like their own version of Prison Break. Oh my God, I remember when I first saw this movie, Samuel L. Jackson with his like motivational speech. We're going to pull together and we're gonna find a way to get out of here. You know, I think he was about to start off with this and not fits enough with his mother and for sharks on. Just like, bam, the damn shark comes and gets him. Just ate him. Oh my god, those, like how did I not see that coming when he's standing right there by the damn water? But when Alakuje gets his revenge on one of the sharks, he actually delivers one of my favorite lines from the movie. You ate my bird. 
moving on to number two, 2017's 47 Meters Down. Um, I have not seen 47 Meters Down on Cage. I heard that that one's actually not as great. I don't know. You guys can let me know down below what you guys thought about it. This movie's about two sisters, Lisa and Kate, who travel to Mexico. Um, they end up kind of meeting up with these two fellas who invite them to go on this boat to go and view the sharks. And it's like, come on, like we're going to give you like more of an experience kind of like the authentic experience once they do get on the boat the boat obviously is really dingy lisa like just looks at it and it's just like oh no yeah hey have you seen the case and that would have been my cue to like let's go but unfortunately for the girls um uh, once they are down there uh lisa does start to kind of panic a little bit and it's like asking to go back up while they're going back up they, uh when the rope or the wire like just breaks free all right so it's not actually the shark that does it mind you if it was deep blue sea the damn shark would have done it would have figured out a way to do it but no this was just pure like bad luck so down 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 they go 47 meters down it's now like a a, a survival of how we're gonna get up there we're running low on oxygen there's a freaking like shark circling our cage again the shark fancy these two girls but coming in in first place obviously is jaws i mean like i said earlier when i was pointing to my little sticker here i don't know can i even see the little sticker through there i don't have my glasses you guys you gotta admit you guys jaws to this day holds up it's a great movie it's like cemented you know in like the best movies like ever made it's one of steven spielberg's best movies the score is absolutely phenomenal again this freaking great white shark has his eye on all these like vacationers it's like see you i see you i see you i'm gonna eat you i'll eat you for later this shark is on a mission to eat the whole freaking like town the whole freaking tourists that are there it's not the freaking mayor's fault for not wanting to close the damn beaches down after that first kid got eaten but you know of course we can't lose the money we're gonna be ruined if we close it down it's like um sir i would love to know if there's a shark in the ocean that i'm about to go and swim at and especially if i was like a parent like I would want to know if there's a shark where my children are about to go and swim at because if I came with two kids I would like to come back with two kids and I would like for those two kids to be fully intact I don't need no like limbs missing or anything good mayor sir if you have not seen any of these shark movies and you only want to see one obviously i'm going to recommend jaws i think obviously it's the best movie it's going to be on everybody's i feel like everybody's uh, number one pick when it does come to shark movies it's just such a classic go ahead and comment down below let me know what is your favorite shark movie do you enjoy shark week which shark of all is your like most feared i can tell you right now for me it's the damn bull shark because that little sucker can be in fresh water and salt water and they're very very aggressive of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye